Hey everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're looking at the Asus Transformer Prime. It is uh, working with Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. And today we're going to look at four examples of note-taking uh, applications. And most of them are able to do uh, sort of drawing uh, items as well as taking other media, capturing other media, and then you can share them to the web. So what we're going to look at here one by one is starting with Catch. So open Catch, you're able to see that there's a, a stream over here of uh, helpful notes to tell you how to use the application. We're going to go over to our home, which has several notes that I've just created a few moments ago, just to show you examples. Um, for photos, you just put a photo in there. You can add several photos into one note and write a little information about it. You can do that by hitting up here and taking a new photo. I know it's upside down because the camera is set that way, but the icons flip for us, so we'll take a photo there. And once we're done, we'll click done. Tap it one more time there. And we've got that one in the note. Now this is, comes up as a new note and just goes into our stream up there. We can scroll back and forth through our stream right, stream right now. We don't have enough to stream to go up and down, but rest assured we can. We can also organize these by favorites, by tags, and by uh, people noted in uh, mentioned in the note. Next we have text notes. You can just write text simply. Next we have uh, uh, audio notes. We can go ahead and play. Making a recording for a quick note. Uh, you can mix these several different things in at once. You could add, uh, here's for adding a new note. You can add a new photo in this note, add a new recording in this note. So there are two recordings and add text. Now each of these notes sits here in the stream, but it also sits, uh, if you wish, you can share them. If you tap over here, you can go to share, and as you can see right away, you're able to share these with several, you know, everything you're able to do it with on Android. This makes it different from iOS in that um, the amount of places you can share with is only limited by the apps that are able to be shared with rather than by the system itself. So we're able to share to Evernote or Note Everything. These are two other applications we're going to be looking at in a second also. Uh, Google Plus, plus Bluetooth also works, and Gmail. Let's tap out. Let's make sure we're closing these other apps as we go through them. Just because that was just open, let's go and note everything. Note everything allows you to do things like paint. So what we did here, we just did a quick painting, you know, just like that. Very smooth. The reason this is uh, acting extremely smooth with no lag whatsoever is we're currently in uh, performance mode, therefore Answer Transformer Prime has these several different options. Performance mode X allows us to use all four cores that we got in here with the Tegra, uh, Tegra 3. Now, as you can see up here, we're able to choose uh, paint colors. We'll choose yellow. We're able to switch from uh, drawing mode to eraser mode, and we're able to change the stroke width. Very simple stuff. Just paint it up right there. Now, as we back out, you're able to see that note stuck right there. We also have the ability to add a new note voice note, paint notes, text notes, these are very similar to what we just saw. We can make a note from barcode. What that allows us to do is use our camera and a barcode uh, scanner to, sh to see barcodes or QR codes and make a single note of them. We can also make a note from Google Docs, so this shares directly to Google Docs and is able to access Google Docs as well. We can also search through notes up there or tap here to select folders so we can go through all kinds of folders. Right now we only have one note up there just for example we can make folders and notes and organize it very nicely. These uh, notes are also able to be shared with uh, several of the same different things that we did before. Share note, you can send it to all these different sort of places including clipboard, so that's pretty cool. Even more options than before. Tap out of here, make sure that's closed out. We'll go into SMB. This is Autodesk, Sketchbook Mobile. Now the thing with Sketchbook Mobile is it's not optimized the way the other apps are for tablet quite yet. You notice that because there's this little uh, arrows button right here that changes the way that you're able to zoom. That means that it's still only made for uh, smaller devices, but it does work nonetheless. Tap here, you're able to see your different brushes and different uh, widths of everything. This is a very diverse application. It allows you to do many different kinds of drawing. We'll tap this one here, show you it's really fat there. Next we'll go to this one, take a really thin one. So you can see it uh, is sort of sensitive to how you're tapping. It gets a little blurry around the edges. So uh, once again, this is not a great app for a tablet, but if you're using Android on a smartphone, it'll work fantastically. 
go right to this one in fact too. Hit up a different kind of brush here. Whoops. Make our radius a bit smaller. Switch to this. And uh, that's good. So we'll hit back. And very nice little sharp edges there. Pretty cool. Now this also is able to be shared and you can work with it extremely nicely. You can head back like that. And it's just essentially a really nice drawing application. Not so much for taking lots of different sorts of notes. Get out of there. Uh, then finally we have Evernote. Now Evernote, there's two applications there. I'll show you what we're going to do here. Uh, Evernote is probably the most diverse note-taking application that exists for Android. It also exists on iOS uh, but and for desktop and basically every other system that you have. But we're going to show you here is how, uh, as you can see on my screen, I've got many, many different sorts of apps, or, uh, you know, notes and etc. You know, things from about a ham sandwich up to here. These are all business cards which I'd snapped one by one to add to my system. Um, and what we're going to show you here is if I want to make a new note that uh, has a uh, painting in it, like we can write notes here, you can take photos, or record sounds, etc, etc. But if we want to go ahead and go to do some painting stuff here, we're actually moving out into the second application which is called Skitch. Skitch used to be its own application but was purchased by Evernote and is able to do things like show your location, uh, you can work with photos, take a photo, or just go ahead and make a new one and then you can paint from there. Skitch is uh, relatively diverse for how it can uh, do painting. It just has a uh, width there, a few different colors, and then you can do other things like add text or uh, switch the way you're working, make little boxes like that. And you can do things like save it or move it straight to Evernote or save it. Pretty cool. So those are essentially your your big choices right now for Android. We're looking for more diversity in the future, of course. And there you have it.